Hello, you are welcome to this class again. Uh, before I continue, before I go into this lesson, let me take this time to appreciate every one of you out there. To, to be honest, to be frank, I was so, so, so impressed. I was bursting with joy yesterday. I, I am yet to understand what was special about a particular video that I used to answer a question that somebody asked. I'm talking about the video where I treated the literal, what, the, uh, what it means to say that something is literal and something is literary. But to my greatest surprise, that video went very fast. So many persons loved that video. As a matter of fact, that video is the reason that today we are, we are over 4,000 persons on this page. Just yesterday, that video added up to over 1,500 persons to this page. I really appreciate everyone of you who, who joined us. I, you're very welcome. I am so, so glad to have you here. All right. Uh, somebody asked a question, and the person's question is the difference between transitive verbs and intransitive verbs. And according to this person, she has been having problems with this, and I believe she's somebody in the secondary school, I think. Okay, now, what do we mean when you say that a verb is transitive and that a verb or that a verb is intransitive? Now, let's first take this first one. What are transitive verbs? In case you do not understand when I begin to mention subject, object, or the rest of them or something like that, check the page. There is a place where it has been treated. There is a place where we talked about the subject, the object, the complement, the predicate, and the rest of them. Check, you're going to find it. Now, when you talk about transitive verbs, a transitive verb is that verb in a sentence that requires an object to receive it. Remember, we said that an object of a sentence is the part of the sentence or the element of the sentence that receives the action that is in a situation where there is a verb. You remember that a subject performs the verb, uh, performs the action, right? And then you have the action itself, that is the verb. There ought to be an object receiving it. Okay, now, in a situation where you have an object receiving an action, that verb there, an object receiving the action that is pointed out in the action there, that's uh, that verb is what you know as a transitive verb. That is, the action requires that it is acted on an object. Take for instance, when you say the children, the children ate rice. This is the subject of this sentence, am I right? Et is the verb and rice is the object. In a situation like this, you see this verb here is a transitive verb. Why? It is a transitive verb because the act, that is this action, is affecting something. It needs an object. For you to understand what it is trying to say, it needs an object. Now, a verb like this is a transitive verb. Now, the principal punished the students. It is a transitive verb. Punished there is a transitive verb because it needs the student for you to understand what it is trying to say. The action plays out on the students. Such an action is a transitive verb. Now, there are situations where you find out that verbs in sentences do not require objects. In some of those situations, you just see the subject and you see the verb. Yet, that sentence is complete. It does not need an object, but it is still complete. Let us say, when you have something like, I I slept. It's a complete sentence. I slept. It has information. Now, a sentence like this, in a sentence like this, the verb here is intransitive. It does not require any object for its meaning to be complete. It does not require an object to receive this action. So, a verb like this is known as an intransitive verb. Now, or somebody saying, I sat. Take note that there are situations where where a particular verb can be transitive in a sentence and intransitive in another sentence. Listen, this X, for instance, what if somebody just says, yesterday, yesterday, I ate. This is a complete information, I ate. In this situation, the person speaking here does not need to add an object. Maybe the person does not feel like adding any object to this. Now, when you have something like this, this verb that you are seeing here is, an intransitive verb because it does not require any object. The verb here does not require an object for its meaning to be complete. So transitive, transitive, check what this 
particular uh, do I prefer that we should refer to it as a prefix? What does it point to? There are situations you hear something about uh, transits and the rest of them. That is to say that this action here works on something. Whatever action you mention has to be transferred to an object. Transitive verb. And this is intransitive. The action does not need to be transferred to any verb. Thank you very much. Once again, you are welcome. For those of us who are here, you have, for those of us who joined us yesterday, you are very much welcome. And for those of us who have been here all the while, who have been the reason why I have been doing what I've been doing, you are so much appreciated. Please do not forget to always share our videos to help others who may need it to learn. Thank you. Thank you so much.